Hiring Hoosiers is connecting you to the development resources to make your business a driving force in the community. The town of Speedway is all about racing, and Sarah Fisher wanted to add something to support the big house. Speedway Indoor Karting in 1911 Grill is about to head into its fourth year in business, and as Sarah Fisher tells our Amanda Starantino, it was with the support of the Small Businesses um, Small Business Administration's loan to make Fisher's karting dream a reality. Small businesses are the engine of the economy. Since the 100th running of the Indy 500, when Speedway Indoor Karting and 1911 Grill opened its doors, this business has become a staple spot in this racing community. We'd always dreamed of getting back to our grassroots of racing, which is go-karts. The former IndyCar driver has taken on big business ventures before, like owning an IndyCar team, but this go-kart track and restaurant was something on a whole other level. For Andy and I, um, we didn't start this project with a ton of money. You know, everything that I had earned from my IndyCar career got dumped into the IndyCar team. <laughs> so we were starting from a negative, if anything. Um, so to be able to finance this project and get it off, off its feet, get it up off the ground, um, was a challenge. Sarah and Andy used a loan program available through the Small Business Administration to get a green flag on their business idea. Without the help of the SBA, you know, to have that banking partner align with the SBA to, to help build it together, um, it would have been a really big challenge. So, you know, we're thankful that, that that 504 program exists for sure. Speedway Indoor Karting and 1911 Grilled use their SBA loans for practically everything you see in this facility, from the real estate to the restaurant and even the carts you drive. So our two main programs are the 7A loan program and the 504 program. But the 504 program is for long-term fixed asset financing, such as this building that we're in today, SIK Carding, 1911 Grill. And so it can be used for that or it can be used for like major equipment purchases. In the last two fiscal years, the SBA had over 1,500 loans made to Indiana Small Business. And each year, over $750 million has been invested into Indiana through the SBA loan programs. It's actually a win-win-win, so not only does the small business win because they get to put as little as 10% down, the community wins because it's a job investment program, and the lender wins because they get pretty good loan position with, as, with little investment. The exercise of going through all the paperwork and the routine that they have you do as a, as a startup, um, I think it's a necessity for when you get going because you've already uh, gone through some of those hurdles. The SBA is an available resource to anyone that wants to bring new business into the Hoosier State. I think that in itself can be inspiring to people who don't have funds, who don't have a background, who don't have a you know fortunate family who can help them get a business started, uh, that it is possible to create something that if you dream big enough. The SBA partners with area banks and credit unions. They also have an online lender referral tool called Lender Match to connect small business borrowers with participating SBA lenders interested in your loan needs. You can learn more about the SBA loan program at HiringHoosiers.com. That's where you can also find all of our other previous Hiring Hoosier stories. And be sure to join us on Good Morning Indiana on Monday as we look back at some of the best stories we've done on the technology industry.